So I originally did East Virginia Blues down here in open position in G. And I'm going to come back here now so I can explain a couple of new chords that we're going to learn. These are both called seventh chords. Everything we've learned so far has been a major chord. I've just said D chord, A chord, E chord, G chord, and C chord, but the full name uh, that musicians call them is D major, A major, E major, G major, and C major. If you just say D or C, that's like an abbreviation for a major. Um, and as I promised, there's a lot of hipster musician lingo to assimilate here, and being able to know the difference and say D major or D and know they mean the same thing, that's one of those vocabulary issues that uh, it's good to iron out. So when you just say D, C, G, people assume that you mean D major, C major, G major. But there are other kinds of G chords. In this case, this chord is called G7. If you lose your pinky here, get rid of that, and put your index finger down on the first fret of the high string, we get that chord, which is called G7. Seventh chords have this kind of tangy, funky sound to them which is really different from a major chord. So that's what a G7 sounds like. And you may want to practice going from G to G7, or going from C to G7, using all the practice tricks we've talked about.